going on guys y'all ready for part three two on this craftsman we're going to be uh taking the deck off of it and replacing some deck bearings some uh, drive idler pulleys some deck idler pulleys i'll show you guys how to remove this deck and all that and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and um, also I'll leave links to all the parts I use in the description um, make it easy for you to find the parts if you've got this same rider but um, let's get started on this thing set the deck all the way down into the lowest setting on the back of the deck you got one on each side a hitch pin go ahead and pull that one on that side that one's a little bit different, but it ain't supposed to be. Need both hands. That side had a washer, the other side's supposed to have one too. Pull these rods off on both sides. It did have a washer. Ta da! Take that off. You got one on the very front. Pull it out. Pull the washer off. And I'm allowed you to take that rod out right here in the center of the frame right straight above your spindle you got two brackets you gotta take these uh pins out on both sides you can just lay this down on the deck and then go to the other side thing with this one just take it and lay it down on the deck now we're ready to take the deck out. You want to pull the deck out on the non-shoot side. So take it out if you're sitting on the mower on the left side. Once you get this deck out so far, you've got this deck engagement cable. You can disconnect it once you get this pulled out just a little ways. About right in there is good. A pair of needle nose pliers or needle nose vice grips. They don't have to be closed, just this cable's got two tabs, one on the top and one on the bottom. And you just want to squeeze those just a little and then pull it out the back, just like that. And then there's a slot right here in the top of this bracket. Once you get it back so far, you can lift it out. Once you get that loose, you just take this spring and turn it up and push it down and it will slide off of the, the bracket there. You just take the cable out and move it out. I like to lay it across the mower just like that so that way it's not on the ground. If I've got to move the mower or whatever, it won't get snagged and, and broke. We're ready to pull this deck on out from under it. Don't forget to disconnect your belt. And flip these brackets back the other way. Take your belt off. Belt looks okay. Then we're gonna take these two idlers off and then we're gonna replace both bearing shafts and bearings in both sides. Let's get to taking all this apart. out that hold the spindle as long as the housing's not wore you can just replace the shaft and the bearings but once you get you won't know that till you get it apart but if the housing is wore where the bearing has come loose and it will wallow that uh, housing out then you got to still replace the whole thing and I won't know that until I get this thing all the way apart Go 
ahead and screw your nuts back on just to where the threads don't stick out. This one, you need to remove this zerk fitting, this grease fitting, especially if you're just taking it out to replace the bearings. We're going to replace this whole shaft and it's got a new grease fitting in it, so it really doesn't matter, but I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. A little bit of an overhead wheel here, but it'll take it out. Now you screw it back on. And just take a hammer and get it down. Take your nuts back off. Lift your neck up. Looks like this bearing didn't come out with the shaft. So you're going to have to take an old extension or something like that and knock it out from the other side. After you do that, you can knock the top bearings out. Just flip your deck upside down. Same thing. Take your extension. This is the side that I think may need a new spindle. I've got a new bearing right here, and we're gonna see how that fits in there. If it's tight, we'll be okay. But if it's loose, I think we'll be okay. All right, we got our spindle shafts with new bearings. And uh, we're gonna start with uh, putting the top bearing in first. You'll have to take these apart. Put your top bearing in. Get them started with a hammer. I found that an inch and an eighth socket fits the outside of them just about perfect. Now we're going to flip the deck over, put the shafts in. I already put that bearing and shaft in, but all you got to do is slide it in and make sure you get your shaft centered with the bearing on the other side and it'll slide right in. Once you get to here and you can't get that to go in, take an inch and an eighth socket that'll go around this star, tap it with a hammer, and it'll go in. But next goes on your spacer washer. Slide them on. What that does is keep the pulley from touching the housing. If you just put this pulley on, it'll go all the way down and the inside of it right here will rub the housing and this won't turn when you tighten the nut up. This goes to the center part of the bearing and then you set the pulley on there that allows the spacing to be right between the pulley and the housing. Put your nut on there. Do that on both sides. Next we're going to put two new blades on it. As you can see this bottom one's bent. If you look at this side they're pretty flush. That one's bent. So no matter which way you turn blade that one's still bent but this side's still flush so we're gonna put new blades on it too put your blades on make sure you get your uh, star lined up and the cutting edge the edge that's sharpened always goes up put the tips together Make sure they're pretty doggone close. And I mean, we are about perfectly flush. Listen how smooth. That's the way they should be. I'm gonna show y'all what I did to these brakes. They were wore out, chewing into the metal on both sides. Let me get you a little closer so you can see this. See right here on the on the right side they were chewing into that 
Well, if you guys want to see the video on this, go check that out, how I did that. And, um, there's the other one. But I'm going to mount these back on there. Alright, guys. We're ready to put the idler pulleys on it. These brake pads were wore out. And I made a little separate video of modifying this, um, these brake pads brackets for like 30 bucks a piece that's $60 just to have the brakes well I know a little trick there and I'll show you that just go check that other video out but um, it works pretty good let's get to putting these idler pulleys on sound difference get our belt on it and then there we go well the deck is done we still got to put the idler pulleys on the uh, on the mower so Let's go under there and check it out. The belt looks to be fine all around through there. So we're not going to replace that belt. We're just going to replace these three idler pulleys right here. So let's get started on that. We got two foo v's right here and then one flat one right here before you start taking these loose go ahead and release the tension off your your belt by pushing the brake down and locking it and that'll allow you slack so you can get these off You hear how much quieter that is? Number two. It's a carriage bolt on the top, so you may have to put your finger up there. Hold it down in the square. Slide that off. Tighten it on up. Number three. This one, it's a carriage bolt also, but pull down on the pulley as you're taking the nut off. That will keep the carriage bolt, the square part in the carriage bolt pulled down into the frame as you take this bolt loose. Another new idler. Put your nut on there once you get your nut on. There again, just pull down on the pulley while you tighten that up. And then all we need to do is uh, take the brake off and make sure everything's working like it should. You hear that, guys? It's quiet. This thing will be a whole lot quieter when she mows with Alright guys, we're ready to put the deck on this thing. I want you guys to see this. You see that? That is from this idler pulley locking up and then the belt sliding on the pulley. This one was doing the same thing right there. Get it under there, 
spring from the bottom. Tab goes on there. And then that just pushes in and locks. Then you can slide the rest of the underneath the floor. Put your belt back on. And you basically just hook it back up like you took it apart. Come to the back. Put that on. And then your washer and your pitch pin. And don't forget about this one in the center. Just do the same thing on this side. And you might have to lift up on the deck just a little bit and get that on. Slide your washer on. Just like that, guys. While your deck's down like that, go ahead and engage your blades and check everything and make sure there's no nothing touching. Your belt's not rubbing. And right there is my brake pad modification with the brakes. With the belt engaged, the pads are away. And if I disconnect it, it goes right up to it. Let's check the other side. That's engaged. And then that is disengaged. And it's the pulley. This mower is ready to test out.